Before I talk about um, an example of where I've seen water resources management work, I want to actually just lay the baseline for what happens when we get this wrong. At the end of last year, I ran in the bed of the Aral Sea, and I ran from a place called Moinag to where the sea now is 200 kilometres away, where there was once metres of the fourth biggest inland ocean in the world, there is now just desert sands. And in the sand lies the carcasses of these old fishing boats. And I met and I spoke with fishermen who had sailed those boats across the sea, people who had exported products on these boats. And they said, for 30 years, Mina, we were told that if we continue to use water in the way we were, the sea would dry up. 30 years we were told this agricultural system, the over drainage of water, the mismanagement for agriculture and other purposes is going to destroy this part of the world. And 30 years later, the ocean is dry, the ecosystems are severely damaged, probably will never recover, and the populations, the communities and the societies that live on the edge of that ocean are now living on the edge of a desert, fundamentally changed. So that's what happens when we get this wrong. Examples of what happens when we get this right. Um, there are many, but one that particularly stands out for me is um, I went to the edge of the Rio Grande. And on the US side, this, there's a border village called El Paso. And on the south side, the mirror city is called Juarez. These two massive communities of people live in very, very different lives, in very different communities, but have come together to manage the use of water along the Rio Grande. And together, they've figured out on a day-to-day -day basis the communication system which says how much water do you need, how much water do we need, how much water do we need to release from the dams, how can we find a mechanism that the US can hold, effectively bank, the water that will be used by, by Mexico. And in an environment where there is it is fraught with conflict and disputes and politics, this relationship between the US and Mexico, to actually go and meet these people, to run down a part of the river, to actually see for myself what happens when people get together with a common cause, which is water management, when people get together with a common objective, which is to ensure the appropriate river flows, not only for that part of the world, but also for all the water downstream and the farmers and other people that depend on it, then you actually see the power of what we can do when we work together for the good of the water management of the entire community and the future.